What's up guys? So first off, if you're new to the channel, my name's Chad and I've got two little boys, Case and Adler. And we've got a farm just outside of town. And then we've got a house right in the middle of the, I'm not gonna say city, but certainly the suburbs. The water company, the city company, is replacing the water line out front. I got my neighbors behind me putting in a pool. I'm not complaining, I'm just letting you know if the audio is a little difficult to pick up sometimes, that's why. I've also got 19 hens. Five of them are laying. The seven are gonna lay in about a month, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear the egg song here for a good solid hour. We just crossed over 400 subscribers. We sincerely appreciate that. We've actually got a giveaway at 500. Uh, I'll link the details below or put them down in the description, whatever, about uh, how you get entered for that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. This is the kind of stuff we do. These are the kind of videos we make. It's always family fun oriented. And uh, yeah, so let me show you how to set these up. So, as you guys can see, I bought the most expensive potting mix uh, that they had. I bought what was on sale. Now, I asked the lady that works there, big box store. She's one of those ladies that's worked there every gardening season. She knows what she's talking about. She knows what I'm planting these in containers. I'm not direct sowing. I've never grown anything and I need something really, really simple. She said, fill your buckets with about five inches of this, put your taters about two inches deep and call it good. She said they'll either grow or they won't, that's gardening. So I guess we're all gonna find out together. Using a 5 8 inch spade bit and just go a lot quicker than a drill bit. I'll link them down below. Super cheap, they make holes. And in case you didn't know how to tell if something is uh, food grade, that number two inside your recycling triangle, that means food grade. By the way, if uh, you need all these holes to be exact and precise and in order, you should probably look away. Just kidding, I can't leave them like that either. Now, if you're wondering, man, that's a really cool setup. How'd you come up with that? Pinterest. 
And no, it's not Pinterest because I'm not interested in something. I'm interested in it. So as you can see, I've already sliced these and they've started chitting. That's how I'm going to do it. You do it how you want to do it. Uh, we'll find out who's grow. We'll find out who's don't. Sorry, I got a hen singing that egg laying song. We got the, uh, so we got our potatoes from Hostools. <laughs> so we got our potatoes from Hostools. Uh, if you didn't know that, all of our seeds actually this year came from Hostools. We went with the uh, Homestead Potato Sampler because we didn't know which ones we would want. But that gets you uh, two and a half pounds of Kennebec Whites, Red Norlands, Yukon Golds, and the All Blues. So that's what we've got right here. And let's get them in the dirt. blues. Can you imagine blue potatoes? So what I've done here guys is left the chits exposed. And now I'm going to throw some Easter Bunny fertilizer on it. Thank you, ladies. I see cocoa puffs. I can't help it. So now what I'm gonna do is water them just a little bit, just because I'm getting ready to cover them up with more soil and I wanna make sure that they uh, get water. So, just a little bit. So you can see how fast that water runs out because if you take note, see all my holes? That's why I put them up on these two befores because it keeps them from getting too wet because potatoes don't actually like water. They don't like sitting in it, I should say. This is the part of the video where I remind you that I've never done this before. I got two potatoes per bucket of each kind. I got four kinds, as you know, and we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. As always, if any of this was interesting to you, please hit that like button, subscribe, because this is the kind of stuff we do around here. And uh, Be safe, wash your hands, and God bless.